uh, lived in Kharkiv, but suddenly when war happened, I moved here. And now uh, there is uh, terrifying scenes. There are bombs plundering Russian soldiers, and uh, we really need much help. I think that more than a week ago, and I'm happy to stay here. I uh, told my friends move to Lviv because here is safe. Here I can help people. I can do some volunteering, and I can send money. I can work there. Actually, my father is in Kharkiv, uh, but my mother is here. My father is okay. They built up their friends a bomb shelter. I'm not joking. He is friend, he is a businessman, and he made uh, coverage, a bomb shelter, and uh, he provided people with the food, or what they needed, and uh, my father helped him, like a volunteer. He have a car and he helped people to leave uh, the Kharkiv, or to rescue some people. Yes, we're we talking with my father, like, uh, like two times a day, he may be busy, I ask him, do you can speak? He says no, but I will call you. So everything is okay with him, I'm proud of him. Are you afraid? Uh, yes, I'm afraid a bit for my friends. I'm not uh, much friend for uh, destruction, because I know that we can rebuild, but I'm afraid of uh, people. I know that people will uh, rebuild Kharkiv in one month because uh, everybody talking that we will rebuild it faster. There will be more, much volunteers. There was before any fear that one day this I day was not come? feared because uh, there was war on the Ukrainian east, and every summer, every every spring. I heard some news, some terrifying news that Russian soldiers can cross the borders and we were so fed up by this that we thought that nothing will happen. But my friends, which worked with uh, uh, police, with government structures, told me that I need to run. I told them, it's nothing, keep calm. There was like a story with a boy who was shouting wolves. We know the story. So, and I thought that nothing will happen. But it happened suddenly. We need warriors' ammunition because here are much people who need to go to war, but they have no ammunition. So uh, the Ukraine cannot provide such amounts. So we need help of Europe, and we'll be very grateful. Mm.